guys, we got a 2014 Mazda BD50 or Ford Ranger. This is a 3.2 liter engine. Uh, we're just trying to attempt here to do a front crankshaft seal. Um, so I'm already halfway through, but I found a little bit interesting how this seal uh, is designed. So basically to get to the um, seal there, uh, you got to take the top radiator hose um, and then the fan shroud, just the bottom fan shroud, just drop it there, you'll stay there. And the top fan shroud like this and then just to make it easy, just take the fan, there's a three bolts that goes on the timing case. Um, just uh, take that three bolts there. And for the crankshaft, you got uh, three big bolts like that. Um, these ones here. And also behind the crankshaft, just make sure there's a little washer spacer there. Just make sure this goes in when you put it back in like that in between the crankshaft and the pulley there and once we get to the crankshaft well on this engine uh, the drive belt broke and it went wrapped around the um, uh, behind the harmonic balancer I think it damaged the seal so when I went in there that's all it was left there uh, there was no seal so basically right there where the seal supposed to be and I don't know if you can see it or not on that um, crank side there's a on the timing case there's a little bit of a cutout design there so basically this is the remain seal uh, so you can't just simply push it in and put that in place like the other seals uh, we used to do in the past. I, I've never actually done anything like this. Uh, so basically this one you got three sort of grooves there, legs there, locking grooves. So once uh, it's got also got that plastic bit at the front. So once you push it in, push this in place, this middle plastic bit comes out. And once it's in there, what you have to do is you have to clockwise turn it and, and that will lock that in place. So it, they recommend not to use any oil uh, to put this seal on so um, so we're gonna do that um, also to take it off if the seal was in place on obviously on this engine there was no seal left behind um, but if you wanted to take it off and obviously to install new one you need a some sort of special tool so basically there's a three little holes there, dimples there, the tool goes in there and you can sort of turn it clockwise, anti-clockwise. Um, and those tools obviously wasn't available locally and they were like two, three hundred dollars. I really didn't want to spend the money and I, I didn't want to wait for it. So what I did, I sort of made a little tool. So basically I just put three bolts, same length. You just put that in that three holes dimple like that and you can put your ratchet there and you can turn it clockwise anti-clockwise hopefully this will work for me and i just welded up some uh, old uh, old socket there so i can put my half inch ratchet there so basically um it was a a new design a seal i've never seen it so i thought i'll make a quick video so if you want to make a tool so basically just a flat piece of um metal uh, drill three holes obviously got to measure the distance there and put some you know bolts I think this one's a 10 mil head bolts I think six mil um, thickness probably and just put that three in the hole there and then just weld something up so you can use a, a tool to turn it clockwise anti-clockwise so Basically, that's it. I just wanted to make a quick video on that, guys. Thank you.